cool. <laughs> On my way through to Taupo, stopped off in this thermal area. It's supposed to have like mud pools and stuff here, so I'll go for a little wander and check it out as I've healed up from my massive bloody 14 kilometer hike. thermal walk to it not too long but you see quite a few little uh, you know mud pools and things like that I would actually really recommend coming here <laughs> just make sure you come here nice and early when there's no one else around <laughs> yeah now I've got to continue on my journey to Taupo or Topa however the fuck you say it I don't know absolutely full of tourists so that's an absolute bastard also a no-fly zone for drones of course I'm not at Hacker Falls anymore
so Hucker Falls was absolutely ramo. I'm sure you've seen that one coming really. <laughs> I had to just barge my way for a sea of tourists to try and get a nice shot of the falls. Uh, really, not as spectacular as I was hoping for. But as always with these places, it was a no-fly zone for the drone. But of course I came up with the ingenious idea of just fucking off a little bit further out the way, launching the drone all stealth-like, flying it up in the air so that nobody can hear it and hopefully not see it. Get some nice shots, get it in the bag sharpish and fuck right off. Yeah, that went all fine up until the point that it didn't. Literally, there was a moment where a cyclist was coming past that kind of like, not act suspicious. And at that exact moment, there happened to be a helicopter flying over. And suddenly my mind's like, woo, woo, fucking drone in the air of a helicopter. Hit the home button real quick, hopefully bring it back. But I forgot you have to hold down the home button. So all I did was press it and the, the drone just sat there in the air above the falls like uh, that could have gone horribly wrong. But yeah, in the end, managed to get the drone in, sling it back in the bag and went into the woods, disappeared like a ghost. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd stop here because I think the uh, broken down Toyota truck looked kind of cool. It would be a good place to shoot this bit. Yeah, so tomorrow the plan is, uh, I think it's just going to be driving along the thermal highway. Uh, there's supposed to be a spot that's got like a thermal like lake or something there, thermal falls. I have to get a picture of him, but yeah, tomorrow, more thermal shit. spot. Uh, spent the day in one of the, uh, I guess a thermal stream rather than a thermal pool. Actually quite a bit better than the thermal pools, like you don't get the, the horrible slimy feel that you do in the pools. I think because the stream's running it keeps it nice and clean I guess. But you still got the uh, horrible smell of sulphur coming through there as, as everywhere. But yeah, it's pretty late and um, I went out and had to go up some more night photography. Mm -hmm. 